What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Trill here, and I'm with my heterosexual life partner, Demar DeRozan. Hey guys, um, I'm actually Paul, by the way, not whatever he said. Don't listen to anything he's saying. In today's video, we're going to talk about some misconceptions that people have about Yugi tubers because you know as much as we're all great fun people and you love to watch our content and every other channel's content and all that stuff I think that there are sort of some myths and some you know things that maybe people don't quite understand right so um yeah what would you say is the first kind of just like myth that people have um that we are uh, authority figures basically yeah like, I agree same like pretty much um and First off, we would like to say that we appreciate uh, the, the respect and the love that we get for all that. But uh, just like whenever people, they take our opinion to heart or they, they, they treat it as law. I think, yeah, that's the, like that's, that's where, yeah. Where like people, I mean, you know, it's okay following your favorite YouTubers and don't get me wrong. They're never, no one's trying to lead anyone astray. No, God. But I feel like when, well, I might. <laughs> when people kind of like start treating, you know, like this YouTuber said this card will be good. So it's price shoots up right. and like people start doing this thing. Or when people kind of say like, oh, well, all YouTubers are pro players. So everything they say must be perfect. Must be and true, like every yeah. profile they give must be optimal. But it's like, where are Yu-Gi-Oh players to? Just like you guys are. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely not a, like it's a two-way street. And, I, like, and that's our thing. Like you said, we're not trying to lead anybody astray. And we would hope that we wouldn't give any wrong information out. But it's just that we don't. Our thing is sometimes, you know, we as Yugi tubers, uh, we get things wrong. Sometimes, you know, we're not right. And that's the thing about it is that once we get something wrong, you guys are like, oh, you were wrong about this, you know, things yeah, like that. Yeah, and people so, will kind of treat it that way. It's like, well, we're just players like you. And like, yeah. and, and, so that, and that's the biggest thing that, to understand is that in our videos, everything for the most part, besides being proven by, you know, Konami or whatever, is an opinion of, yeah. you know, of ours. And so it should be treated as an opinion. And so opinions aren't, aren't necessarily wrong. But. Number two, the idea that all Yugi tubers hate each other. So that's really, <laughs> that, the, like, I, I read these comments where people are like, you know, you stole this idea from someone, or that, like, I, well, I like the way that this channel does it better. And it's like, it's okay to, you know, like, have your favorites and stuff, but I think that people take their favorites yeah. and then create this make-believe this, this beef yeah, and, yeah. like, you know, <laughs> honestly and truly, there are YouTubers that I don't, like, care to watch much. But I just don't watch yeah, them. Yeah, but there's no beef, though. Like, it's yeah. like, I don't watch them. And honestly, it's really, I talk to a lot of Yugi tubers I mean, like, we're friends with a lot of them on, like, Facebook and yeah. Twitter and things. And it's actually, you know, like, you know, Tom Box, for example. Really good friend. Tom Box is a amazing. great guy. Like, Will or Olympio. Like, all uh, those... Chris from Innovation Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, yeah, a lot of those people. They're great, like, people. And we're just chilling. Like, there's no, like, theft of ideas. And, right, like, you know, right. we hate each other's content. Now, to be fair... I mean, everyone competes in some sense. Like, yeah. I mean, if you see other channels doing well, then yeah, you want to emulate what they're doing and grow too. But right. it's definitely, you know, it's not a, it's not like that. Like, I mean, it's not, there's no we hate. We do well to try not to do that. I mean, we, I mean, of course, emulation is, is one of the uh, best forms of flattery. But at the same time, I feel like this channel yeah. does well with not emulating as much. I mean, we try to be original. I mean, there's only so much originality in Yu-Gi-Oh. What you got? What's the next uh, thing? The next one is uh, the use of clickbait. Yeah, Actually, that's one that's, of the bigger things. Like we get a lot of people that say they hate certain channels for using specific titles or whatever, and they feel like once they get into the video, they've been shorted of what the title says. Yeah, but, and if that was true, then that would be clickbait. That would be. But I think what people misunderstand is that, you know, clickbait is like giant boobs and thumbnails. Like if I just came into a video and just said titties, yeah. I have your attention, but then there'd be no titties in the video. Then that's exactly. clickbait. Exactly. Then that's you're, you've been deceived. But when people just say things like all caps titles or the best, or such the and best such profile, ever. that's just, I mean, that's maybe they feel. think it is the right. best. I don't know, right? That's how we feel. And also, I want to put out there just on, from a, a scientific point is that uh, a lot of uh, people have um, short attention spans. You may not say that you do. You may not even agree with it. But honestly, a lot of people have short attention spans. So everybody- It's, it's what gets that any, you know, attention. Yeah, anybody successful knows that you have to find a way to get their attention within the first few seconds. Otherwise, nobody's going to pay attention to it or no. So. And what a lot of viewers don't understand is like YouTube's a growth platform. Like, you know, we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, but also making content and like you want to grow, you want to get more views, more subscribers, yeah. more engagement, more exposure. Yeah. And I feel like as long as you're not like actually misleading people, there's just nothing. Like, I don't think that there's any laws being broken here, you know, like. Titties. It's sacred. Let's make that the thumbnail for this video. Titties? <laughs> the next thing is I'm this down. idea that we don't have lives outside of I, YouTube. Outside of the game. We've yeah. gotten some, you can 
Mm-hmm. Well, no, actually, uh, it's funny you say that because uh, when I was at Mass, I got to uh, speak to a couple of my homeboys. And uh, I have a few homeboys that don't know me as uh, as much personally, but, you know, we still cool every time we see each other. One of them said it himself. He said, I wonder what you guys did every time I see y'all on camera. He was like, I bet they live together. And, yeah, <laughs> and, that, and I was like, no, we all yeah, have our own lives, you know. That's kind of this, this idea where people think, like, we just we, we live do. in a we live in a, a, a room not even like a house like we're just all in a room and there's nothing but Yu-Gi-Oh cards and a camera and it's just kind of like make this deck and we just have the deck or yeah. like or you know this video make right this now. video and like release it now and it's just kind of like I mean we have lives people are always asking like why hasn't so-and-so been in a video in a oh, long yeah. time or no video today yeah like no where's video. the video and it's just kind of like we have lives I'm I'm in school you know he, you live like 30 minutes away from me. Yeah, like, I live in yeah. an entirely different city. I'm a father and I'm a, a full-time father. Yeah, monthly, I so. mean, the, the twins work we're, and, and we're all in school and like Chris and Calvin literally live like two hours from us. And yeah. it's, it's just, it's, it's not that, you know, we don't care sometimes. It's just sometimes you can't always make videos. Yeah, sometimes we just don't have the time. We try our best. I mean, we really do. But Especially when it's like, you know, make a certain deck. Like... Make a raid wrap your deck taking in these three cards. And it's just like, we don't even have those cards. Yeah, that's my thing too. A lot of times people ask for deck profiles, but we don't have the cards. And you know, Paul does not like, and I, I agree, I don't like, we don't like doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro deck profiles. We want to do it in real life. But a lot of decks people ask for, we want to do them for you, but we don't have the cards. And I don't feel like, I'm personally not going to go out and just buy those yeah. cards for that one deck profile that I'm probably yeah. not going to use. Yeah, it's, it's like, that's what, kind of what you got to get. If you want to send them to us, we'll gladly do that deck profile for you though. But. And what is the last thing? Oh, shit, I, I forgot the last thing was. I'm going to my phone. I'm they'll they'll be on this video. <laughs> the last thing is um, the comments, actually. The, people feel like we are sensitive to the comments that we receive, um, yeah. especially the negative ones. Like we, love, like we love the love that we get, and personally, we love the hate that we get as well. But uh, people feel like we take those, those negative comments to heart. Yeah. Um, I, I think I, I, for the longest time, wanted to do like a Team APS Reads Mean Comments video. I think that that would be fun for us. We probably are going to do that. That would be fun for you. The stuff that I read is, it's honestly just, there was a time, once upon a time, where it kind of got to me. Like, a few years back. Like, a long time ago, I was like, whoa, like, why are people so mean? Why are people... And now I'm just so jaded about the whole damn thing. I mean, it just... Because you read so much crazy stuff about yourself, and, you know, just like... Uh, it's just... It's just the internet. Like, we, we don't really, like let the the hate get like that you know did. i mean it's not that's not really how it is and that's crazy part is that, is that you can't really respond to it because even if, if someone says something mean and you respond to it even if you're not being mean back then you're feeding the yeah if you respond to it then you're salty you know you're you know whatever so we i mean it doesn't it, doesn't, yeah. it never bothers me anyway i like to hear new things about myself i so. definitely think like it's you know i will say sometimes it's hard to appreciate you know the good because of all the bad but lately i've found that just the supportive comments are the best comments, and the negative stuff just goes out. Like I don't even. It doesn't. The negative you know, stuff is just radar. another free view, so we'll take that. Just be yeah. With you. And uh, I think that actually extends to if you don't like a Yu YouTuber, this doesn't apply to us in, at all. It's any Yu YouTuber. If you don't like them, just don't watch them. Yeah. You Save yourself the energy. All right. Like you like, know, who takes the time out of the day to, to want to be a troll on another video? Like, do you not have that much of a life? Just yeah. Like, just. Like, it's okay. And also, in, in regards to that, um, like, as far as misconceptions, is that, is that we, uh, we, like I said, uh, goes back to our first with the authority figures. Um, we want to say that I don't look at any of you guys as fans. We look at you guys as, as, as friends, as, as subscribers. Like, we, you guys are people that we like to get to know, like, especially, like, when we're out at events and things like that, when we get to talk to you guys. Like, I don't know, people try to put on the, on the level of celebrity status, but I don't. Yeah, think I think that that's just not something that you know. Like, we like to talk to you guys. Like, people, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure you guys know that. We, I mean, we, we enjoy talking with our subscribers. We enjoy talking to people that have watched our content, people that have their own opinions, things like that. So, that's yeah. another one of our things, too. Like, understand that we are people just like you guys are. We're, like you said, we're Yu Gi Oh players just like you guys are. So, we love, you know, we love hearing from you guys as well. Like, just as much as you like to watch us talk and act still that crazy or whatever like we like to know that you know you guys are engaged and that you guys are enjoying yourself so so i will t- leave you guys with one <clears throat> last thing it's not a it's not a misconception but just kind of a youtube thing in general if you whoever your favorite youtubers are whether it's us whether it's some other channel or you just like them all let them know yeah the best thing that you can do for any person that you watch it, this goes for any content creator you know someone who draws comics or makes music you like or whatever just share their content, support them, let them know that like you like what they're doing. Yeah. I think it's too easy to get kind of like mixed up in the negativity and all that stuff, but just 
Be chill. Yeah, you actually forget why you're there to begin with. So, that's gonna be the, it for the video. That camera battery is about to die, so yeah. if you like the video, thumbs it up. Subscribe for more stuff. Don't follow the misconceptions. Don't follow the trends. And we'll see you guys in the next actual video. Titties!